see where this goes. Really soft mud, which is a uh, really good opportunity for me to look for footprints of wildlife. Because many of you know, I believe in giving Capone as much freedom as possible. He's older now. When he was younger, I had to put him on a leash a lot more. But he's older. He's a lot mellower. <laughs> What's on your nose? What's on your nose? What is that? Here, here. Le you know, he's, he's a lot mellower. He, even if he chases something, he gives up like within five seconds. So anyway, you know I like to give him as much freedom as possible. But part of that means constantly being aware of my surroundings. Constantly being aware of uh, things that, that might cause him harm or things that he might get himself into. And right here, um, you know, I'm going to look for signs of wildlife. And I'm constantly looking for fresh scat. That was the mistake I made when he chased the bear on a backpacking trip. I had stepped over a pile of very fresh bear scat on the trail. And literally, seriously, like not even three minutes later, he was chasing a bear. And uh, so, you know, that was a lesson learned. You know, and a lot of you have made comments about me not putting him on a leash. And I try to be aware of my surroundings. If I'm in a park and there's not another single person around, sure, is he supposed to be on a leash? Yeah, but what harm is it going to do if there's nobody around? Capone? Capone! What are you getting excited about? Okay, see? See, this is, even though I'm talking to you, I was very aware that Capone perked up, seemed to get excited, and seemed to start running ahead. I called him back, and look at him, he stopped. So, yeah, you know, and, uh, if someone does happen to... And, you know, and if someone happens to come up, I'll either, I'll, usually I'll put him on a leash first and say, you know, are you okay with him being off leash? And they'll either say yes or no. <laughs> and if they say no, they're scared of dogs or whatever, he stays on a leash. Uh, I don't believe in following rules just for the sake of following rules. I mean, if, you know, is a victimless crime a crime? I actually thought when I first saw these, these are a little whiter than the ones I saw a couple weeks ago. They really look like they had just been victims of some kind of a white paint overspray. They're really cool. Capone, where are you going? We don't want you in the woods. Come on, bud. Yeah, come on. Let's go. We don't want you in the woods. Come on. You are such a good boy. today. Got a lot of energy, huh, bud? Wanna go play? Okay, it's too late, huh? Go play! <laughs> 